I remember like the first moment that I really like <sighs> marked out for for myself um, was at an FWA show. Oh, I miss you too, Josh. I hope you're doing well. Um, what happened? Um, I got to do a little like segment-ish bit with Shaw Guerrero, which oh, was wow. super exciting. Yeah, so it was. It was like it was a triple threat, and I was managing Ricky, and I kept getting involved, and then she like jumps onto the apron because we had words before, and then she like slapped me fair across the bloody face. And I remember beforehand she was like, like when I slap you, do you want me to make it like you know safe? And I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, bitch, just lay it in. And <laughs> boy, did she lay that thing in? I was, I was so shocked. Yeah. Oh, Latina Heat slapped the actual shit out of me. Jesus. That's a yeah. pretty cool that's a pretty cool story though. Like the yeah. show she was signed to NXT for a while, wasn't she? Yeah. Um I don't know the full story, but yeah, she was in NXT and she was amazing. As Raquel Diaz was her name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. She had a lot of potential, though. Like, I, I wish, like, if she had stuck with it. I reckon she would have, you know, with the with the name Guerrero. It's like, oh yeah. well, um, because I still keep in like touch with her every now and then. She's actually started wrestling again. Oh, really? Yeah. So she's on the Indies now, um, and I think she just had her first match on the Indies like a few weeks ago, um, and I'm sure she did amazing. I don't need to double check that. I'm sure she did. Yeah, because she's married to um, uh, Aiden English. Aiden English, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I knew that. So, but yeah, that's a, that's incredible, man. That she's getting back into it. Hopefully, it'll uh, lead to big things for her. But yeah, you know. I'm hoping that leads to her coming back here because we need our blow off match after she slaps the <laughs> shit out of me. <laughs> well, hopefully, she hasn't gotten stronger and tries to slap you with the other hand. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> just be like, <laughs> I can see you walking. What up, bitch? This. <laughs> oh Fuck my gosh! I'll, I'll send you the clip. It was actually like buck wild. Yeah, no, that'd be awesome. I'd love to see it. But you know what? Uh, actually, Kyle asked the question. I think we've pretty much come close to covering it. But he said, "What was your favorite match in your career, and why?" I think it was the Shaw Guerrero thing, but do you have a, well, a particular match where you that you were? That was I don't really know. my match because I was managing in that one. I think my favorite match was um, a match against Zena at MCW for several reasons. One because we had good chemistry and we fucking killed it. Two because of the story of how I got booked in that one. So that weekend I was quite sick and I had to pull out of a show on the Saturday. Um because I just was not well to wrestle at all. But then the MCW promoter messaged me on the Saturday after I had pulled out of that show later that day and was like, hey, what are you doing tomorrow? And obviously it's MCW. And I was like, oh, "Oh, nothing, why? And he's like, look at you with your freshly shaven head. I try my (laughs) best. So I continue. Um, and then I was like, oh, I'm not doing anything tomorrow. And he was like, want to come wrestle for me? Um, and Whoa. obviously I'm not going to turn that down. And I was like, no. yeah, sure. And then literally booked my flights an hour later and then flew to Melbourne the day after. I was still sick as a bloody dog. I felt like slightly better, but I like couldn't breathe for the majority of it. So oh. if you – and the funny part was Zeno, I'm pretty sure at the same time, was also quite sick. So both of us put on this, what I like to think was a really great match, while we were both unable to breathe, basically. <laughs> and, and you know, dosed up on Panadine Fort and uh, Nurofen and cough syrup. I don't think we actually took anything because we were so, like, stumped for time. Like, we flew to Melbourne, got picked up, was taken to our room, had something quick to eat, and then we had to go to the venue. Oh wow! So I was like pretty much like just nonstop from the get go, and it was nonstop. And then, like you know, the show ended, and everyone was like, "Oh, let's all go out." And Zena and I like, nah, we're going to bed. 
Yeah, but you know what? It's probably a good thing that it was like so full on because I think if it was like stop, start, stop, start, when you're sick, as soon as you, you stop, you stop. Yeah, we would have been dead. 